Bienvenue to Le Café Craft. Today we're doing French stuff. Youhoo! Here we go. Alright, so this is what happened. I got that. And that is a French scrapping booking magazine from 2000. 13. Okay, so pretty much it's 10 years old. It's kind of like mm, vintage. I don't know. Does it qualify? Anyway, it's 10 years old. And inside it, they have that really cool little project. And I thought, oh my gosh, we're totally doing that. Aren't we doing that? Yes, we're doing that. Can you do it? Yes, you can do it. How do I know? Because I made one. All right, let me show you what it is. All right, today is going to be like draw lingo measurement because, of course, everything is in metric. Metric people are going to be so happy. Okay, inch people are going to be like, oh, but we're going to work it out. All right, so this is what they look at. This is the cutest, most adorable little thing ever. I am not kidding. All right, it goes like this, and it goes like that. And then it goes like this, and like that. Ooh, right? Well, wait a second. And then it goes like this. Yes, yes. Oh, but hey, we're not done. And then it goes like this. And then it goes like that. Oh, my gosh. And then it goes like this. Isn't it the prettiest thing ever? Okay, so we're totally doing that. How do we do that? Well, exactly. So, okay, first we're going to do the discovery thing. It's like a trial. We're doing discovery. Discovery is this. You do have a ruler, don't you? Yes. And it's all in inches. Yes. But guess what? If you turn it around, it's all in metric. Okay, I'm going to explain you metric in two seconds because I had to come to this country to realize that everybody here measure with fraction. Two eighths, three sixteenths. I, I just, it was really hard for me to figure it out. Okay, metric is the easiest thing ever. So first of all, the numbers are the same, right? So like one, two, three, four, four, eight. Yeah, we know that. Okay, in between... Zero and one, or between one and two, there is a 10 little marks. Hold on now. Here we go. See, there is 10 little thing like that. Oh, and in the middle, there's the five for the half. Yes? Yes. All right. So let's say if they say it's 1.6, what is it that you're going to do? You're going to do one, then this is five, and then one more is six. Yes? Yes. Now, I know everybody's freaking out. Relax. I converted everything in inches. Good luck to you. Because in inches, you're going to have a 316, you're going to have 7 eighths, you're going to have 116, okay? But I wrote them all down. And I also wrote them down all in metric. Oh, we're going to have fun. And I even corrected a mistake because there was a mistake in it. Anyway, long story short, if you have the choice, in all honesty, you like me better explaining it to you than uh, them explaining it to you because they pretty much dedicated one page, this page, with wrong measurement, and everything is a guess on how you're going to do it. So you get to refer to those speeches to try to figure what goes next to... Anyway, got it? See it? You can see this one, pretty one, all right? We're doing this, okay? We're going to keep that because then we can kind of like maybe make fun of them. Can we make fun of them? Are we allowed? Anyway, all right. Now, why is... Crafting in French is chic. I'm going to tell you why. Because the supplies call for craft card stock. We have that. But the best part is the other craft stock 
has to be beige. Whoever said beige? We do. Here we go. It's beige. All right. So beige is anything which is not white and not brown. Yes. In between. So any beige is your beige. Get that? We need beige craft stock. Don't you feel chic already? I do. And regular craft stock. Yes. Yes. All right. Let me put this here. So first we have to cut. So you can cut in inches. Take a screenshot. Get it? Or you can cut in a metric. Take a screenshot. And I'm going to do metric. Okay, I'm going to follow up and tell you what it is in inches because I'm that cool. All right. And we're going to try not to mess it up. So first you take a beige. Ooh, I'm going to love to say that all day. Beige. And you need to measure 26 centimeters. All right. So this is how hard it is. You're on your metric thing. You see number 26 right there? That's where you go, right? See, that was so hard. So you do 26. Yes. And you go right here. And you are going to cut it. Let's do one step at a time. So 26. You get that, guys? All right. In inches, it is 10 and 1 8. Got it? Got it. All right. 26. Right there. Is it? Hold on now. You know, it's pretty precise. 26. I got 26. Yes. We're keeping the beige overflow. All right. By 8 centimeters. All right. Again. You see where it says 8? This is where you do. If you cannot do eight, then you do three and a quarter inches, right? So we do eight. So what did I say? 26 by eight. Sorry. Sorry, I'm getting confused, confused. All right, your table is going to be a mess in no time. Eight. And if you kept the screenshot, it should tell you three and a quarter. Yes, yes. All right. And now we're doing eight. Ooh, I love that beige. Don't you love that beige? I love that beige. All right. Okay. Now, you're going to need more of that. So that's strip number one. You have another beige strip, like right here. Are we going to do that? Can you see this here? You got another beige strip right here, which is here. So it's going to be 22.5 by 7.8. In inches, it's going to be 8 and 3 quarter by 3, 1 16. <laughs> right? Sorry, guys. You're going to have to deal with that. All right. So now we want 22.5. All right. You see where 22 is? 5 is this one in the middle between 22 and 23. You see what I'm saying? How hard can it be? All right. Hold on. Where was I? 22.5. 22.5. Right here. And the width is going to be 7.8. In inches, it's going to be 3116. Ha ha ha. Sorry, I had to laugh. All right, so what did I say? 7.8. All right, so you see number seven, then you get to five, right? And then you count one, two, three. Five plus three is eight. I mean, how easy is that? Ah, seven. Where was I? I'm right here. Here. 7.8. 7.8. Not 7.9, mind you, 7.8, right? Which is 316. And then we are going to cut. We are cutting. Isn't it the cutest thing? But wait, because actually the putting it together is pretty easy. I mean, once you figure out what the heck they're trying to tell you in that thing. And then you can have so much fun decorating. Oh my gosh. Right? Right. Okay. So you got your second beige. Right? I'm never going to be tired to say beige. All right. Now you take your craft. All right. To put all your beige leftover on the side. Who knows? Maybe we have to go back to beige one day. All right. We need 30.2 which is going to be 11 and 3 quarter. All right, come on, guys. The 7.8. All right, 7.8. 7 to 5, and then you count 1, 2, 3. Right? Right, right. 7.8. I mean, is as tedious as 16, so, you know, whatever. 
do you want to do? What did I say? Because I'm in metric right now, 7.8. I mean, it's not fun to do like uh, metric stuff. I think it is right here. Okay, so we're going to do this. Now, for the scoring, I found out, right? Because obviously I made one. You better off going with the metric because it gets really confusing. I mean, for me anyway, it get really confusing with her. I get confused very easily, so, you know, cannot take me as a measurement of confusion because it is very easy for me. All right, we done with the cutting. Done, done, done. You need the scoring, scoring right here. Did I make enough noise? I think. All right, I got the craft, so we're doing the craft. All right, so in the metric, you're gonna score every 7.5 centimeters. Here, in this country, the United States of America, you're gonna score at 2 7 8 three times. So you're gonna go 2 7 8, score, 2 7 8, score, 2 7 8, score. Right? Right. I'm going to do it in metric. Every 7.5 centimeters. Why? Because it's fairly easy. As I said, you go to 7 and then to the middle one, that's 7.5. And then again, 7.5. And then again, well, I know I'm not scoring right now. I'm marking 7.5, right? And then you're going to line up. Find your mark, any one of them, put it where it should be on a thing and score. So you got one score here, I got one score over here, and I got another score right here. And you have your craft, right? You take the, okay, now you got two beige, Right? You have one longer than the other. Yes? Yes. You take the short one. Now the short one, you're gonna score every seven and a half, just the same. Which means you're gonna score at two seven eighth twice. Yes? Yes. So seven point five. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I mean, when was the last time you did French crafting? This is this is what I want to know, right? Okay, cool, cool, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure some of you go on, uh, you know, European YouTube crafting places and do project. You know, the truth of the matter is you just get to turn your ruler the other way around, you know, and just go with the flow. All right, so that was the short one. Now, the long one... Uh, this one, and this is why this one I'm going to score in centimeters. Because in inches, this is where it gets crazy. You're going to have to score at 3, 3, 16. Then you're going to score 3, 8. Then you're going to score 3, 3, 16. And then you're going to score 3, 8. Or you can be French. And you're going to put your ruler right there and you're going to make a mark at 8, a mark at 9, a mark at 17, and a mark at 18. Because you did take a screenshot of this and this. Yes? Yes. All right. Now, here we go. Scoring. Scoring, uh, you just, you know, you just found a scoring line where your little mark is, that's all, and then you score. Yes? Yes. Guys, you done. This is it. We can all resume in English from now on. All right, so this one, you are gonna, okay, first, 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 you're gonna erase, right? Because there's nothing worse than leaving those pencil marks. Okay, so this is going to be your little booklet. See this little booklet? Hold on. This little booklet, cover, little spine, back, little spine, right? So this is what we got, is the cover. So you got to 
fold it, right? And then it's so much fun. You are not gonna believe it. Your table is gonna be a mess. Oh yeah, the way we like it. All right, erase, erase. All right, this one is really hard. You're gonna go like this. And you're gonna go like this. Because depending how you want to put them in, right? So it can be this way, that way, it can be this way, it can be that way, right? I mean, you, there's room for improvement. There's room for like personalization. You can make it whatever you want it to be, as we know. And same thing with the craft one. Fold. You fold. You fold, and you get a little thing like this. So you get this, you get this, and you get that. Yes, yes. All right, now, what do we do? <laughs> this is where we, the fun is gonna start. All right, we don't need any more measurement. All right, so now you got all the choices that we know, which is if you're gonna edge, you're gonna have to edge everything everywhere, right? So you're just done with the edging. How about that? Yes. If you want to round your corners, you can. On this one, I didn't round any corner whatsoever. And everybody knows I'm I'm a rounding corner person, but I didn't. I just wanted to keep it French, like beige and sharp and neat. All right. So we get this. We get this. We get that. We're going to edge every single one of them. When we're done edging every single one of them, we're going to have to glue them. Yes, yes. All right, so I'm edging, you edging. We resume when the edging is done because it's going to take two hours to edge. All right, so we are almost done edging. You know, if you don't edge... Pfft, you got so much time left over to do other things. Anyway, but we are edging. Now, the idea of that little thing, so we'll give you some context here, is as you can tell, you know, you can put pictures of your family or pictures of your cranky. You can take any pictures you want and put them in. As usual, I put pictures of people that I do not know who they are, but they look cool, don't they? She looks cool. Isn't she so cute? Okay, right? So whatever, whichever way you want to go about it, you go about it. All right, first we're gluing and then we're getting into the needy greedy of everything. All right, so this one, this one here with the, the two little spine, that is your booklet. You take the craft one, right? That you're gonna, okay, depending on which way you want it to open, which I pick this way because then I could do this way and then you make me like a whole, Anyway, you know, this is what I did. Whichever way you want to, you want to put it the other way, put it the other way. I put it this way. And this goes in the middle right here, right? So I want it to open this way, like so. So I'm going to glue it right here. Can we do this? Yes, we can. We're going to need clippies, clippies. We having the clippies. All right. So you take this. You apply the glue. You know, that glue bottle is always in disarray. No matter what I do, this is just, this is just the way it is. I think there's plenty of glue on here. And we put, you put it right in the middle, right? Whichever way you take it, yes, you put it in the middle. Doesn't matter how you measure, middle is middle. A little bit of space here, a little bit of space there. Hold on, a little bit down. How do you spell perfect? I don't know. But that looks to me like it is straight, right? In the middle, but straight. Yes, yes. So correct while your glue is still a little bit wet. And clip. Now, you're gonna take the little beige, well, that's the only thing left anyway, and then you decide if you want it to happen this way or if you want it to happen the other way. 
All right, so this one open. How does this one open already? Oh, yeah, open like this. So I'm going to make this one open the other way. It's going to open that way, like this, right? Yeah, and then it will open like that. Yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to glue it that way. All right. This is such an easy construction, but then it gets so involved. I mean, this is fun. I'm going to show you how involved it gets. <sighs> all right. It's going to open that way, like so. I got to do all over my fingers. All right, same thing, right? In the middle. So middle of the middle of the middle. And clip, clip, clip. Clip, clip. And now we get to kind of let it dry. But while it's drying, guess what? They are using tags. You're gonna use, you're gonna need tags. Those tags are the big tags. Do I have big tags? Yes, the big tags, right? Those big tags. Let me see if that's the right tag. Yes, it is. Okay. Those big tags. Now, those big tags, you're going to have to cut them. So, if you don't have that many tags and they already cut as a tag, just copy them on your craft paper and make them because it's, you know, it's a little bit silly. All right. Okay. Hold on. Inches. They are three and one eight, right? They are three and one eight, period. Because this is going to depend on that, right? So... Here we go. So those are the tags. Okay, hold on. They are 7.9 centimeters. But you're going to need to shape one. See, you need the shape of the tag. One, two. And then there's those here. Three, four. Now, hold on, because it took me forever to figure those things out. This one is... Uh, almost this, those are one and a half. So, so you're gonna take your craft paper, you're gonna trace your tag, right? I mean, don't destroy tag just for that. That's what I'm trying to say. And you don't need that much, right? What did I say we need? Uh, about so you can make them all about two inches i think sometimes i think wrong yeah two inches right you just go two inch about two inches down yes which is way more than two inches but that's okay so you need three of those i mean if you if you have a pack of 300 tags you know just Take your tags, cut them about two inches long, and you're about good. One, two. Because anyway, as you can figure out, because we get to cover all that, you're going to be slivering all day. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. All right, so putting the tag away. We're going to do two inches right here. I said put the cutting thing away. I was so wrong. All right, two inches. Not this, keeping this, keeping this, getting rid of this. Scissors. All right, and then you cut your tags. Not that one. I mean, eliminate whatever you cut because then it gets mixed up and then it gets confusing. Do you know what? Do yourself a favor while you have your tag, tag. Do your little round thing. This way, you don't have to figure out the middle. Yeah, you know, type of thing is take forever, right? The, the big, the fake big tags. Yeah. All right, one, two, three. While you add it, just in case you can, yeah, because of course you're going to cover them. So I say take your punchy thing, do your punch. This way you don't lose where that is. One, and then this way you don't have to erase anything. Two, 
and three, right? Okay, keep them on the side. We're not gonna use them right away. So, you know, put them somewhere where you kind of, I don't know, remember where they are, right? Okay, so we get this, this is dry. We're gonna keep this magazine for reference, just in case. Right, okay, let me put a little mark in here because it takes so much room. All right, right here. Now, oof, let's have fun because now you have to decide, right? So, let me go back to the magazine. See, in this magazine, right, those, the whole little project is in, okay, that multimedia people have a blast because obviously they did all kind of thing with ink and blah, 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 blah. I didn't do, right? But anyway, they did in those blue teal type of thing and blah, 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 right? So I find all kind of blue teal kind of things and put them together. Yes, yes, because you see like this, right? So I use some of the same background here and there, right? You see what I'm saying? So I got one, two, because it's got to be, you know, kind of together. So I got one, two, three and four of that background, which is in the kind of a bluish thing. And I put the same thing in the back here, so that's what did you, how much was it? I don't, I'm I'm lost already. One, two, three. I did the real spine. Four, five. Okay, I did five of the same background, and after that, I took some kind of bluish thing, you know, here and there. So pretty much, my point in that is, you have to pick. Your theme, okay, let's say you're going to put pictures, right? Because that's what I did. But you're going to have to pick your theme, pick your pictures, pick your colors, and see how you're going to go about it. Yes, yes. So this is what happened for this one. Because I made a blue one. I want to make a pinkish one. In order to make a pinkish one, I put all kind of pinkish, flowery, different thing that I can pick from. Yes, yes. So I got this and maybe I can pick some of that. I got this, I can use it like maybe here or there. I got those things which like, you know, this is kind of cool. I got maps that are coffee dyed. So I got that, you know, kind of pinkish thing. What else I got? I got those, the old strippies. I don't know, I can use somewhere or not. I got, okay. Then what I did is out of all of those, right? I cut pieces. So I got pieces of things. This I don't know. This I don't know. Those are pinkish things. They look kind of pale. Anyway, this I got. That kind of a pinkish thing too. I got those kind of like, this is cool with flowers. You're gonna need whole reinforcers. So those are, or those, I mean, I use those for the little tag project. Then I still have some and then the reddish. So, mm, you know, maybe I can use that too. So you're gonna need the whole reinforcers right here. More of that, more of that. But what I did is what I strongly suggest you do is you pick some of the one that you really like, but you're not sure because that can take all day, right? And then you cut them to your little square dimension, right? Like inch, a metric, that's a little square. So what I did is I cut a whole bunch picking from this selection and I made little square because then this way I can see what I want to use here, here or there. Yes. Yes. See what I'm talking about? All right. Now also because I use a little bit here and there, where is it? 
think it's a little guy. See this little guy right here? I use a kind of a, you know, faded blue from washi tape. All right. Oh, you want to know who that is? Do you want to know who that is? That is Saint Exupery. Now, this little boy grew up and became a man, and he's the one who wrote the little prince. I'm serious. That's the one right there. How cool is that? I had to give him, like, you know, nice little spot in my little picture thing. Right? That's a picture of him when he was a kid. Anyway, long story short, okay? I took all kind of washi in the pinkish. I don't know whichever one I'm going to use, but you know what? I just took them all out, right? So you do that. I'm telling you, your table is going to be a mess, okay? And then I took like little tags, little things with handwriting. And then now for the pictures, right? The pictures... Any black and white books got pictures of people, you know, like picture of people like this, right? Like this, you know, they show you, oh, it's a picture of them in the garden in 1922. But you just cut it, right? They're black and white and you make it, oh, I have no idea who that is. And then you put them in there. I mean, if you want to. And as I said, you can take your own pictures and make your own little personal album. Now, another good source. Okay, of course, you get the Tim Holtz, you know, like uh, Photomaton. What is it? What is it called here? You know, those photo booth, photo booth, right? But if you got any yearbook. You know, at the end, you got the, everybody's pictures. Those are so cool. You can have so many of those, right? That's another good idea to get pictures of people that you don't know. You'll never know. Maybe they recognize themselves. I have no idea. I don't even know which your book is it from where, when, or whatever. Or, as I said, there's another pink thing. You just go in um, black and white, you know, pictures in mag magazine or you know like this pictures of people I don't know who they are some are funny some are kids see I got picture of that kid I have no idea who they are look at them aren't they cool right so you take all the pictures that you can find here here and there or you take your own pictures and then look isn't she so pretty she is very pretty right anyway so then you make your little pile of pictures whatever you want to use. Then you get your little pile of, hold on, all kind of handwriting. See, I put a lot of oh, dictionary pages. I have some, uh, oh, if you get some scrap from embossing, use them. See, that's handwriting. Uh, here is a map. And then you use all the little ticket that you can find that you can put here, here, and there. So then you get your little ticket collection, which is right here. You get all kind of your tickets. Like so, right? They got all kind of handwriting and ledger and, okay? And then you decorate. Yeah, you don't need me to decorate. You honestly do not need me to decorate, right? You just decorate your little album. And then when it's all kind of done, because it's going to take me hours, so I'm going to make mine, but then I'm going to join you for the cover and the tags. Yes? Yes. See you then. Okay, so we are done. I am. I mean, almost. Anyway, so your table should kind of look like this for some reason, okay? So we're just going to put everything away. Now, the only thing is you're going to have to find, and it took me forever, your four fake tags that you made at the beginning of everything. If you didn't, I'm going to go through it with the measurement, okay? So, but the first order of the day is uh, cleaning up. Yes, yes. So cleaning up all the things that you used, that you're not going to use anymore. Papers, this, all the little cuts of this, of that. Find all your tools. Tags. 
this handy. Everything else is gonna go in the magic box. Whew. All right, let me put this away. Not too far away, just in case we need it again, right? Right, okay. Ooh, all right, so I have my little booklet. We need to do the tags. We're gonna do a flip through so you know exactly what's in there, right? We need to do the tags. Where are the tags? The tags, the fake tags, right? Now, fake tags, you're gonna need two fake tags. We're gonna be three eight by one and a half, yes? Two of those right here, right of it. Okay, screenshot. Yes, all right. Three and eight by one and a half. Cut, cut, got it, got it. Two. You're gonna need two. Oh gosh, I got more stuff. You're gonna need two are gonna be three eight again, right? By two inches. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna score at one three eight. Yes, yes. And that's an extra one, just like just in case I mess it up. All right, one, three, eight. And hopefully we can find all the tools that we need. All right, so one, three, eight, one, one, two, three, one, three, eight. And you score, yes. So this is the first one and second one, one, three, eight. One, two, three, right there. Okay, now, don't need that anymore. But this, for that matter. All right, and then you're gonna cover your tags, right? Okay, now you're gonna round large this and this. Yes, yes. All right, you're gonna cover those two only on one side, yes, and they both are gonna be this way. Not this way, that way. Both are gonna be uh, this way because they're gonna go like here on your cover, right? And they are gonna go like this on this cover. Yes, yes. So you're gonna cover the outside, right? Because they're gonna be glued up to here, blah, blah, blah. So you don't need the inside. Yes, yes. Those, you're gonna cover both sides like this, not the fold, not whatever is right there, right? You're gonna cover this side, that side. Why? Because you are gonna open them. So you want something here, here and there. All right, we're covering and we're coming right back because we're gonna put them in our little, I don't know what we're gonna call it, but this is so cool. Yes, yes. All right, so we're almost done with that. Uh, we're just gonna resume whatever we did because we did cool stuff. All right, now you take your little, you know, whole reinforce, whichever way you wanna do it, whichever one you wanna use. Why this is not working, I don't know. Guys, I don't know. There's always something. Ah, here we go. We're having some action here. All right, and then we're gonna glue them and where we're gluing them and how we're gluing them. Okay, we're doing this. Now that is really hard, right? This, this. Now those, we covered both ways, right? So we got to put one inside as well. This and this. All right, like so. Now those two are just like that. And we put one here, one here. Yes, oh yes. It's so exciting because this is the end and we're almost done, almost done. All right, so we got that. Now we take our little a booklet, the D booklet. We're taking it the way it opens. You did that, you took a screenshot of that, we're done with this, done with this, done with this, done with this. All right, the booklet. This, okay, this is gonna be, all right, when your booklet is closed, right? Like all closed up, like so, you're gonna take the short one, the short tags, and you're gonna put one here, like so. Now, if you got to adjust a little bit here or there, do, 
right? We're going to glue one here and one the other way around. Now, we're going to do it together, right? Now, the thing is this. Okay, unfold your booklet so, you know, you get a flat surface. You're going to put the glue all the way to here, but not where the hole is. Showing. You put the glue all the way to the little hole, but not more than that. Yes? Yes, because you want to be able to put a ribbon or a string through that. Yes? You put it down. Nice. Like so. You're going to take some clippies. Now, if you, if you did everything right, which I'm sure you did, okay? The next one here is your back cover. I know it sounds weird because it's here, but that's the way it is. And you're going to put it this way right there. Yes, yes. So putting the glue, same thing. I'm just going to double check what I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. But just in case you're not sure, you know, never hurt to double check, triple check. Okay, so let's say you're closing your booklet. It, you know, it, it gets funny. All right, let's do this, this, this. All right, this is the other side, right? Right. I mean, if it's easier for you to do it that way, do it that way, because it gets confusing. And you put it here. Yes, yes. And then what you do after that is you're going to clip here. Clippies, clippies. Clip here, clip there, and then this one, clip here. All right. So right now you're like this. So you take your little booklet and you open it all. Yes. And you covered everything except, I know we said that, but just saying, except uh, this one right here. Why? Because this is going to be your secret pocket which means you're going to have to glue your fake tags in like this before you put whatever is inside. Now, you are going to notice that you are way going to, you're going to be way bigger. Why? Because you are inside and the inside is smaller than the outside somehow. Anyhow, so you're going to have to adjust. Yes, yes. So we're going to snip a little bit on both sides. And when you do that, don't forget to edge again. I mean, check if you're good because you cannot keep cutting edging. Okay, this one is good. All right, so edging. Is it good? Yes. Now this one, same. Actually, I should guide myself on this, right? Right. That doesn't even do anything. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to where we were. This one is good. All right. This one is good. And then this one, I'm going to have to clip on both sides. I mean, if you did all of that, you know, it's a slivering day all day. Okay. Because that's all you do is sliver, sliver, sliver. But it's fun though, right? I mean, it is a nice little project. All right, guys, I didn't even have time to chat with you. What's going on? Anyway, what's going on? Oh my gosh, so many things are going on. And I've, I have been plagued, literally plagued by technology. I'm not even gonna go through details because it's so annoying but hopefully it's all resolved and life is great now it's the end of the year i think this is gonna be the last project of the year and then we are finishing strong because this is really cool all right so we're gonna have our little secret pocket right here yes yes what do we put in it okay this is why you didn't do it because you're going to have to glue this and this, and then you got to decorate this little panel, right? So here we go. Now we're gluing this, gluing this. All right. So while we're waiting for the glue to dry, of course, subscribe if you didn't do it, but I know you did, but just in case you forgot, right? Please 
do. Thank you. But I want to take the opportunity for the end of the the end of this year, which was an exceptional year for the Cafe Craft because we broke the 10,000 subscriber. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I still want to do special thanks to all the patrons. Thank you so much, guys. I'm working on the last happy mail of the year for you. It is coming nice. So I hope everybody's going to like that. I want to thank everybody in the Facebook group because you guys are really active and productive and a lot more than I am. That is for sure. It seems like everybody's technology is up to date except mine. Okay, so we get that right now. Whatever you're going to put here, this is when you put it and it is here. And this is what I'm going to put right there. Yes. And then you're going to put so, okay, you're going to have to make sure you're able to close it, which means eventually, obviously, you're going to have to sliver. Yes. Yes. So you're going to do some stivering again, because I know you did you're going to do all those things, right? So you're going to do some slivering, make sure you can close your panel without, you know, that horrible noise, which means like, mm -mm. we can't, we can't. All right. We're going to cut here. Now, as usual, if you cut, you edge again, and then we're going to do the, and then we're going to do a little flip through everything. And this is going to be the coolest thing ever. All right. And then we got, and I'm going to go through everything I did or not or what. I got a little thing here. All right. So that should close. Perfect. Right. And we're going to put a little ribbon here. Yes. Yes. We got to take this out, this out, this out, this out. So ribbon here. Then you're going to close like this. Then you're going to close this one like that. Then you're going to close. Oh, okay. Note to yourself. You can also put a little mat or nothing at all, but you can put something in between here. Yes. Yes. You're going to close like this and it's going to close like that. And then you're going to slide a little ribbon here and then a little ribbon here. You're going to tie it all together. And then we do a flip through. Yes. Yes. Anything else I forgot? I don't think so. And then you can also put something here, which I think I will right? and something here. Yes. Yes. And this is it. You're going to have your little photo gallery. All right. So next step, putting ribbons. And doing flip through. See you then. All right, flip through. So we're gonna flip through everything, one thing at the time. Bam, bam. I'm sorry, guys. I should have talked to you and tell you about this, tell you about that. I'm sorry. I'm. I got so excited with this project. Just forget about it. All right. So first, here we go. First, it was this French thing right here. And you know what? Why don't we take take a look at what they did, right? So I hope there's not too much glare because uh, do you know how it is glossy and you reflect. Okay, so that's what they did. And as you can see, they use like actual peaches, right? So you can do that. You can do your own little photo album, you know, with people that you know versus me making things with people that I don't know. Anyway, okay, so here. First one was the blue one, right? You can make them blue, green, pink, whatever you want them to be. So it's like a mini photo gallery, like your own little private album. Okay, now another cool thing is you can display it and it stays standing up and that's pretty cool. So you can move them to whoever you want to look at, put them on a shelf. Yeah, you understand what I'm talking about. All right. So this one had the map and this map. Okay. All the black and white picture I got from old, I mean, books, books got any kind of books got black and white picture. I used the vintage photo, but I used the felt, uh, which is uh, for alcohol, I think. But anyway, because it doesn't, it just shade. It it's not like a it's not like a, a big mark. 
you know what I mean, it's pretty subtle. That's the best way to explain it. All right, then there's a few things I want to go through. Okay, those little accordion thing, right? Of course, it's easier to decorate them before you glue them. This being said, keep in mind which one is going to get glued to your support because as it goes, it gets really confusing and you don't want to decorate something which actually you're going to have to glue down. Just saying. I found out that in any case, you can al always fold them and put the panel that you need flat on your table. And I honestly prefer to glue them down first because then I know exactly where I'm going. But, you know, then again, you guys are so much better than, you know, you don't need all of that. Anyhow. Okay, so let's resume. All right, so this first one here, I did a little pocket and I put a little tag in and then he opened this way. So as I said, I use the same thing. When you pick your papers, pick like five, six papers and just keep reusing the same in different ways. This way it's got some kind of unity, okay? So that's part of... This paper is a cut off of some of these background. That's that's what I mean by that. All right, I put the old pictures, the old tag. You can use all the little tag, all the little labels that you have. You can use stamps. You can use anything you want as usual. All right. Then I have this gentleman here. And then this very pretty lady right there. Of course, you can use all kind of brads or eyelets or little uh, pins or whatever you want to, you know, put in it. Little tags. And those are, as I said, all kind of washi tape, little stickers, whatever you have. But it's better to put like everything together before you kind of make a pre-selection. Otherwise, you're going to spend your whole time looking for things. Just, you know, like, oh, this is what, this is why it's taking me hours. I mean, if I will have kept that video on the whole time I was, we'd be here all day. Not that you don't want to be together, but, you know, there's, there's a limit to everything. So this one, the same thing. And that's another background. This is washi tape. That is crumpled paper for the background. The little brad. This is the same blue that I use for this. And then you open it on the other side. And you have this. Isn't it so cute? I mean, some of them are adorable. And then you hide, you know, one of the pictures that uh, you picked. And this is this gorgeous lady right there in the middle. Right? So that was the blue one. And then it closed like this. You close your accordion and then you fold and then you fold and then you tie. And then I put a little spine here and here. I didn't cover anything in the middle here, but you can, right? Now, the pink one. Because I figure, you know what, if we make a blue, why don't we make a pink? I mean, you can put your grandkids, or you can put your family picture, or your last vacation picture, or whatever. I think it's adorable. You can make a special one for the holidays and take some pictures of, you know, your last Christmas and make it like a little gift. Anyhow. Okay, so this one, okay, so now that was one of the papers that I selected. I put a little bow here, and the upper. Okay, right here, I have a little pocket on the side like this, and it goes back in this way, and now it opens. So right here, same thing, I put a little, you know, I kind of did a little bit of this, but a little bit different. I put a little tag in here. Now right here, same thing. I kind of follow a little bit of what I did before somehow, right? Put a little tag here. I mean, at least it gives you idea what you could do, what you could put, you know. And then this way. So this way I did a little bit different. So I have those two little kids with a dog that is so adorable. Have a bunch of kitties here with a little bit of lace, a little bit of stamp. I have this mom with a little girl. That's in the 1900. I, you know, that's, that's pretty much my take on it. Anyway, 
Those aren't those good looking, they sure are. And that's like the back of a playing card that, you know, I put sideways. I mean, you can figure this one out. I use some lace right here. I put a little envelope. There's a little stamp in it. Take the stamp. It's a little stamp like this. And on this side, I have this old, that's out of a very old book. The Century, with all those very serious men there. It's a Spicali Circus. Oh, those two ladies, aren't they cool? I thought they were so cool. I like them a lot. You know, with the roses that I cut out of, you know, that rose paper that I had before. And on the other side, I have those little kid in a little carriage dragged by a goat. And it says image the year, which is yesterday pictures. Now, all the, all the writing, most of them, it's in, uh, you know, books that you can actually cut out whatever they wrote somewhere as a title or in the middle of a chapter or something. And then here is now see on this one, I did the secret pocket in the middle on this one. I put it at the end. I don't know why I thought maybe the end was better. You know, you don't have to make them all the same. And then this one's got this very pretty lady with a little bit of lace and a little flower. Right? Okay, so here are the beauties. So I think this is a really cool project. It is a French project, guarantee French, okay, from 10 years ago. And that's what we did. And I think it looked as good as the one in the magazine, if not better, I could say. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy it. I'm wishing everybody the best time ever for the end of the year friend family kids grandkids everything all the love all my best wishes because it looks to me like next time we see each other is gonna be maybe next year doesn't mean i'm not gonna record things but you know mm, i think the editor is gonna be like you know busy shopping and everything all right so happy making happy crafting bye